Yeah, but I'm glad nice. you guys uh, got the uh, the link. Did you just get the link today? No, I got it the other day. But okay, because I got a lot of people writing back saying I didn't get the link, so I'm like, yikes! Is nobody gonna be here? No, it came. It, well, it came a couple days ago. Yeah. yeah. I thought so. I said no on Wednesday. Hi, Marianne. <laughs> it already got caught up in some filters or something with some people, but I just sent it out again for those people who didn't. Cool. So. So Peter, you didn't get your book in the same way that everybody else did. Hi, Marianne. A lot of people got it like this in the little plastic thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. Was that not fun? Cool. It was. Mm -hmm. I, I like the idea. That was awesome. That was something like that. Unexpected bonus. It was brilliant. Yeah, it was very fun. <laughs> I'm using these this headset because I'm using Emerson's computer that he uses up for his zim school so zim school so i'm that's why i'm looking oh, put it up here Stay, emerson you look a lot like donna <laughs> yeah well he does yeah he does too but that's why i've got this because it's his is it's his configuration you are you are you're doing your zoom school today then huh right yeah that's it <laughs> oh my gosh so I've been zooming all over the place. I don't know about you guys, but th they're, they're doing some jackhammering across the street. Of course, every day I have to like shut all my windows because I don't know what they're putting in out there or something. Laura, what you gonna say? <laughs> so Laura, you inspired me. Um, I had a little, I have a little art club. I've been doing uh, a Zoom art club because in element, I teach K through eight and my middle school, I have Zoom meetings, but the the younger ones, we just do videos. So I started our club to have a little face time with them. And so we made these little tiny books. Um, and it was because you had inspired me. Oh, no. And um, it ended up working out really well at, with my third, fourth, and fifth graders. I didn't, do it, I didn't do it exactly the same way you did it because, to be honest, I hadn't read your directions yet. Um, so I was just kind of winging it. But... Um, <laughs> It was a big hit, so. <laughs> well, the nice thing about this is um, I, I started doing this. I was talking with Peter. I started doing this about seven or eight years ago because I, I would make regular size sketchbooks for my students. And then I had these scraps this tall, right? Long strips. And so I made this book. And then one of the things that I did for my, um, my technology class is we create how-to videos. And so I use that as my example. I made a how-to video, right? And so every semester, we all make this book together. So we watch the how-to video together and then we I give them the little supplies and then we make the book and pause the video. And so after that, I, I, I created a little QR code and we started giving them away different places and it sort of took over. Now I just make piles of them. Um, I have like, um, like just like dozens of these like backgrounds. I just sit and cut all this stuff up and I have bins full of this and I can throw all these books together pretty quickly, you know, and put them together. Could be the next, could be the next artist trading cards if it oh, isn't yeah, absolutely, already. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, there's just, it's, it's got a lot of versatility and, and I sent you the link on the examples to uh, an artist named, um, um, I know her by bun. Uh, 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 what is her name? Anyway, the artist that I sent you to, she was in my class. She made one of these and she just loved it so much that she started teaching workshops on how to decorate these tiny books. She sells them in her Etsy shop. I'm like, go for it, girl. You just, you just go to town. You don't have to permission or whatever. I mean, it's all out there. This is just a very simple little thing, right? It's fun. Yeah. So where do you get, where, Lori, where do you get the chip for? Because what I've been using is... I've been cutting up old children's books. <laughs> to use. Which is great. That's that's the right weight, and you know that is super good for people who are at home and don't have access to that right now. Well, that's why. Yeah, yeah. There is okay. So Peter, I sent you, and I sent a couple other people one in an envelope that didn't get all the little uh, links and stuff. I'm gonna send okay. you a link. I have a shopping list. Oh, okay. I know you are teachers. You want to know exactly the right thing, right? You want to know exactly what paper that is, exactly what all that stuff is, because I'm an art teacher too. So I'll send you that link of where you can buy all this stuff. Good, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I learned from my students is their, their first question is, what, what exactly chipboard is this? Where do I buy this? 
Right. So I've had this piece of library tape probably for a hundred years. <laughs> oh, I wish I had that. And yeah. I go, I, I know what I could use this for. <laughs> I, I don't know how long I've had it. You know, I took I retired. I took it home from school, you know, so I never used it there. But I, I, had, I have I, a lot of this now. There you go. I inherited. I am a librarian, and I just oh. this is so great for all the books that I recycle at the end of the year because I a lot of that goes to my art department anyway, Perfect. which I teach part time in. But absolutely I'm inspired for next year. Absolutely, well, I inherited like Peter. I inherited this book cloth and these rolls. Oh, okay. Uh, Donna, you remember Liz Harton? She must have left a box. I don't know, a huge box full of them. Um, and so I have all this book cloth. And so it also is one of those things, you know, you, you pull these things together and it made this tiny little bug, this little thing here. So well, we used to teach book binding. And so she taught that and that's how we used up all her book bindings tapes, yeah. but she had more than she needed, I'm sure. Oh my gosh, there was so much of it. Um, I will have enough for my entire career teaching there. <laughs> And then it may taper away as I, I, because I, I use a lot of it. Um, and it, for this, I mean, this is, it takes a piece this big. That's just nothing, right? Just one little square yeah. of it. So that works out just fine. Well, the whole project was brilliant. And I so, so appreciate it. It was just the pick me up I needed. <laughs> just That's to have something to do for myself instead of everything that we're shoveling out, you know, trying to get things oh. together for students. And yes, thank you for saying that because that's how I felt about it. I wanted it to be a gift, which is why I wanted to do it for free, right? What, what's the risk? You thank sign you. up and you think, well, maybe I'll get something. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted you to be excited that you signed up for something. I got something kind of special. <laughs> that's great. All right, we still I loved it and I, I'm so grateful because I ended up making two more. So I didn't have chipboard, like, so this was the first one and you had sent some other paper and then I did like the inside with florals, but then I found that I had some just cardboard that I used and I didn't do a spine on it. And so then I made it like travel, you know, like something, and then it's, it opens up. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> neat. Awesome. I just totally took it in another direction. That is, that is and that's the point, right? Just to have a start. So I love it because it just like sparked this creativity for me that I have not had in months, like two months probably. Because <laughs> since all this went down, it's like I'm shoveling out art lessons as best I can and trying to think of all the hiccups there. And I was like so bogged down. So this was like perfect timing, I think. Well, you know, it, I Thank actually, you. as soon as we got the, the message that we had to stay home and I was just getting ready to start a new project with my students and it was so chaotic and everybody was bummed and everything i just packed these up in regular envelopes and just put a stamp on them and threw them in the mail and it had like a little link to the video and i told the students just just play with this right because like i said i have a million of these things and it was it's a stamp it was a stamp and so i had an extra one i sent it off to peter up there uh, in, in canada i thought ah, i got another one i'll send him one so it came out of the blue to all these folks and my students also sent me little pictures like thank you for making a tiny book one of the things they almost always say when they get it done is they're like it's just like a real book <laughs> like it is a real book <laughs> but they mean it's like a book you might buy it's got all the parts to it and they get very excited about that too that is awesome look at how we have we have some people showing up good 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 i want to make sure that i don't uh oh my god i have my phone here who knows where it is so anybody else want to share this what i'm going to do in a little bit after we get a few more folks here is kind of put us in breakout rooms if we want show us what you got carrie hold it up <laughs> Like, I didn't read the directions, so I didn't start till 10 minutes ago. So I was just trying to finish it up really quick. Grades were due today, so I was really busy with my students. Absolutely. And you know, this, this book takes like, what, half hour, 30 minutes? Look at that. <laughs> it takes no time to make. <laughs> yeah, I was same as Carrie. I was working on mine. I was like, okay, I'll sit down at 530. I'll do it before we get on. <laughs> Yeah, just waiting for it to dry now. <laughs> no problem, no problem. And you know, honestly, even if you didn't get to it at all and you didn't want to open the little package, you're like, this is too cute to cut open. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's not hard to make, it's an easy thing. 
Um, I did set up the web the website now, so you there are some resources. Um, while we're waiting for folks to come in, let me go ahead and share uh, my screen and just walk through what I have on there. Um, so Peter, I'll send you the link to this, but okay. hopefully you guys got a chance. These are some examples. This top one is from one of my student teachers who did uh, cyanotypes. And so she gave the kids these long skinny pieces. She had painted the cyanotype solution on it. And so they created their books out of these cyanotypes, which was really kind of cool. Um, this is Roxanne Coble. That's now, of course, I remember her name. She was the student who was in my class. She's an amazing artist. She was going through the credential program. And then she ended up not finishing because she got kind of famous. She was on the front of a magazine and she got in demand. And so she just sort of went, her, her career went another way. Um, but she loved this little book. And so here are some of her examples. She also sells those. And she started teaching workshops on decorating these like mini books, which I think was really cool. Fits, right? So here's all some little examples of her students. And Peter, I put your stuff up here. I put a link to your Galliano Island printmaking projects. Oh, and I didn't get this picture big enough. I'll have to make these bigger. These are some of uh, his photographs. I must have shrunk them down by accident. Here are the list of where you can buy all of these, the, the chipboard, all of that, and how to make your own book cloth, because this seems to be the hard part. And you can use any cloth um, and iron on a backing. So there's the, some links there. Um, this is where, um, come on, fun. I have some fun stuff for us to do. Um, and then this was where I sort of walk through my process. It's kind of nice to see somebody else's process through there. So I, I just sort of stopped and did my little bit by bit. And then what I would love is for you to send me some photographs of the works that you're doing um, so that I can include them on this page. So if you could take some photographs, there's Peter, there's your grandson. <laughs> um, <laughs> you like, yes. Working on his, yes. Yes, he was working on his. So he yeah. has sent me some great pictures of, of uh, his, uh, his process. So I would love it if you guys get a chance when you get your book decorated or just make it and send us a picture. I have one of my, one of my students and all she has is like, oh, you can't even see my screen. I have a green screen. Oh, <laughs> well, there it is. But she, she just holds it up. So anything that you want to share, I'd love to share on there with everybody else too. I made a template. Oh, there you go. Oh, see, there you go. To make the cover. So uh -huh. that's, that's the size of the cover. There you go. And this is the this is the side. This is what will be in the image after everything's folded. Ah, so you know exactly where to place things. Good so idea. I can place it on top of a magazine or whatever photograph or whatever I want to use as a cover. Trace it, and I've rather than because I was just when I started, I'm just randomly cutting up some little children's books. Uh huh. Now I can. Now you can frame it all just the yeah, way you frame, want yeah. it, right? He's got he's you see he's got a production going there. It's gonna be <laughs> awesome, <laughs> and that's what I really get excited about. I mean, you just want to throw these ideas out there and let somebody else take them, take them on. Well, here's what I want to do. Um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna break us up into some groups, um, and if what I would love for you guys to do is. And, and maybe some of you don't have a book and that's okay. You can look at what everybody else is doing. But I thought if I break you up into some groups, you, people will get a chance to share. And then we'll, when we'll come back together, maybe a couple of people want to share out to the larger group, which would be awesome. Um, so let me, let me set you up into um, yep, some groups. So we'll have five people in each group. Um, and... Da -da -da -da. So I'm going to send you off there and what you guys can do is just share with each other and then I'll kind of pop in and see how things are going and then it'll give us a timer at the end when I'll give you a little bit of warning when we're going to close the groups back up okay and that way we'll all come back to the same meet okay so I'm going to send John out um, and you guys will head on out to your groups. Can you do that again? Oh, there you go. <laughs> now with all different classes, you know what I mean? It's just like, oh God. Yeah. And um, so I just started it and then I messed up. I did it the wrong way, of course, because I was like, I got this. <laughs> and then I didn't have that. But so I'm now I'm enjoying, I'm, I'm happy because then it made me go find something and I found these 
tiny little pictures of people oh, I love it. At surfing party waves, which is what I want to be doing right now Nice at my favorite surf spot. So I was like, oh, all right, I'll use that. And that's been fun. Um, but I cut it wrong, but whatever. I'm really excited now that I started, but there you go. yeah. Well, there's lots of things that you can do. But I made mine a, a road trip because she had oh, all those. I love it. I, mine is a total road trip with songs and singing because she included some oh. musical terms and some musical, some music uh, picture sections from um, music, and I just incorporated it in. So this is a sing along travel thing. <laughs> I love it, Donna. That's so cool. <laughs> That's darling. And I cut up the the uh, tape measure so that it measures the roadway rather than measuring. Kind of fun. Oh. So That's take a look cool. at take a look at the the website so you can see the studio. It's right in the water, and and we've got an etching press that came from the University of British Columbia. They were they changed their whole art program, and one of my former profs back in the '60s. Uh, he had this huge uh, etching press that has been there. It was there for a long time. And they were going to throw it out. So we threw it into the back of our pickup truck and it ended up on Galliano. So you'll see that if you look at the webpage. So. Which webpage is that? It's, uh, called, it's, on, it's on Facebook. It's Galliano Relief Retreat. How do we spell that? Uh, G-A-L-I-A-N-O. Galliano, yeah. Relief ret retreat. Retreat, yeah. It all started okay. off. It's all started off about thirty years ago when we bought the cottage. That um, <clears throat> we would do a professional day with the. And I'm. I proposed drawing from life, and um, it would be interesting. It's going to be. Uh, actually, I don't. I'm not sure what age I'm going to be teaching at, but I teach K through eight. Mm -hmm. um, so you have elementary kids too. And is it, do you say your name, Lee? Mm -hmm. Is it Lee? Lee. Yes. Lee? Yes. Uh, I know what you're saying about the size for elementary. Um, I did like a folded book, a different style folded book for my fourth grade. And um, they, they love that. It was like that uh, one where you, it's one big sheet and you do one cut in the middle and mm -hmm. it folds down to like an eight page book. It's pretty nice. Um, but it is a lot just teaching them all of those steps, kind of like an origami project. <laughs> I did that for high school for teaching elements of art. And even there, yeah. there was instruction following skills that were not fully developed. In some but I'm, I'm wondering if I get um, younger kids, maybe I can, I, when I've gone through all these steps, and thank you, Lori, for the beautiful kit. I was just confessing. Yeah. I didn't have time to do it ahead. I thought I was hoping we'd get instruction here. But thank you for all the... Uh, resources. I'm sure I can put it together on my own. There's a um, little video. It just walks you through the whole thing. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, Lee, I like your idea of doing a little bit larger. One of the classes I teach is costume and fashion design. And mm -hmm. I think this would be a great um, research accompaniment when I have the kids do their historical perspective pieces and they have to go back into a decade and pull pieces out and then create their new design from it um, to be able to collage into the book. I think that would just be a really creative aspect to have accompanying with their their garment. So um, in my thought, based on what you're all saying, when I said I was going to use it for drawing, um, I'm th my, my intent is that this will become like a little mini reference book before they actually do drawings. And so because lines go in different directions, mm -hmm. They could do examples with a little label here that they could quickly reference and have handy um, so that when they're working, look it up, you know, <laughs> because, um, because if they do it, they're going to in market there, they'll remember it more when they actually get to the drawing. Because um, Did you do yours, Lori? I, I, I did it, but I... I didn't follow the directions properly. <laughs> That's but, okay. Um, I just, I just kind of started um, experimenting. I took the invitation and wrapped that first. Oh, fun! And then I added the green. Um, I didn't know what I didn't know it was 
binding cloth or whatever she said it was, but I just glued that on. And I didn't have, I didn't have Elmer, so I had to use a glue stick and <laughs> a pretty old Staples glue stick, but it actually, I was impressed uh, by it. And, um, and so then I was thinking, I don't know if I want the accordion pages. Maybe I might want to um, snip them in the crease to kind of make them ha have more, um, you know, have more pages. And so I started gluing down the, the, the like near the seam. And, mm -hmm. and then I, my idea was to let them dry and then go back and snip them and then fan them out. But um, then I was like, no, I, I don't know. I'm just playing with it. So I just took, um, she had some scrap of um, measuring tape and I mean, it was fake measuring tape, but I just started to make a flower with it. And oh, fun. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Nothing that's awesome. Exciting. But I was telling people before they came that uh, before people showed up that I'm excited because I, I was inspired by Lori and I had my little art club make these books and gonna come back I, I i stepped into most of the rooms um and kind of checked in to see what people were doing and i i, I, I jotted a few notes because people brought up a couple things all right i'm gonna close all their rooms and they're gonna all come back here <laughs> hi Lori. Uh, my hi, name's hi. how you doing i was having all kinds of audio but i finally figured it out oh that's good yeah so, it's <laughs> could you put me back in that group or is that impossible? yeah they're all coming back now so you're good okay. they're good Thanks. yeah the last couple people that came in i'm like ah we'll get the rooms all closed we gave them a 60 yeah, it was a nice assignment good job <laughs> it's a fun thing to do and i i was kind of listening in here and there to kind of hear what people were up to um kind of some different things that they talked about how they might use it which is what i'm really interested I, I in doing to this, but I think it's not working. they're all about to close here five four three two one then they'll all be back with us i need to watch the film and then not go any further because i could huh? i could be i see some faces i know in the crowd <laughs> hi chris hi there Lori. i've changed my name you I notice that <laughs> Yes, you came on later, but my computer wasn't working, so I borrowed Emerson. So now I'm Emerson. <laughs> Lori, yes, it's Elizabeth. I just wanted to say thank you so much for stitching every single one of those packets. <laughs> oh my gosh! What a labor of love! Oh, you you rocked it. It's wonderful. <laughs> It was so fun. And my Thank husband you. is such a dear. He, I, I made these little, um, the little envelopes without anything in it. And then we sat down one evening and watching TV and we kind of stuffed them. And then I just brought them back in and stitched them all up. And it, I used to do back in the nineties, I did a lot of mail art and I had done this once art. before and it was really fun. And, you know, something kind of like that. So it was just in the little, and again, we were just chatting. I was chatting with, uh, not sure who Mansion 33 is. Okay. Oh, it's you Terry. Know. My name's Terry. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I never do Zoom. You can tell. That's why I, I like. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. But we were talking and, and one of the things I thought is, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just getting so much junk mail. And I, it's like every day I come in and just throw all the mail away because I don't want to touch it. And so I thought about putting it in some way that would be a little bit more, I don't know, fun. I wanted it to stand out so you, you'd notice it and you'd be like, oh, look, I got something. So that was, that was the way it was. That was my plan anyway. I think you brought joy to everybody because when that, I opened up the mailbox, who among you did not smile? In the <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. And then the next thing was, Someone took time for me. Oh, oh my god! Go. That was <laughs> so yeah, I, a lot of thanks. <laughs> well, for you, for you that don't know, uh, Lori, he does not ever wait a moment. So yeah. her little hands are going all the time doing something. So I'm not surprised she came up with fifty little envelopes of goodies. It's there fabulous. You know, it was very fun. And also, I think, I don't know if you saw the note, We're, I, I have another one on the horizon here, which is a cyanotype one. I actually have these all ready too. I made little envelopes. <laughs> See, I told you, they're all ready to go. <laughs> of course, I made a stamp, you know, just stamp, stamp, stamp. And then inside here is a package of cyanotype paper. And then 
And there mm. are also some negatives and some ideas on how to develop. Some, this is a great photo process that you don't need a dark room for. You can just do it in your, out in your yard. And every fall I do this with my students and it's super inexpensive. It's really fun. Um, when I was talking with Nancy, um, one of the things that we had talked about in relationship to some other issues was that when people get things for free, they often don't value them. So we decided we would um, charge a $5 fee. And I don't know if that's going to be prohibitive. It keeps people from you know, signing up for things, but we're just donating it to the scholarship fund. So I got a little bit yeah, of happy. Oh, worth it. I figured it wasn't worth five bucks. Right? Absolutely. Definitely. Yes, I wanted to give you your, your free money's worth, which was nothing, right? And you still got something. So <laughs> hopefully you got a hint of that. So I was listening in and I heard you guys talking about several things, um, mostly the idea that you could use this at different sizes. Um, because this is a tiny book, right? Kind of hard for, for kids, little kids, but um, you can make this um, a, a much larger book or any size in between. What I usually start with when I do that is the accordion first. Fold it, cut a long skinny piece of paper, fold it in half, fold it in half, and then when you have that size, then you cut the, the it's easier to do it that way than the other way around. Um, mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. you can just size this right up. I often make a book for my kids and I was, I would share that except it's locked in my office under lock is I'll take two pieces of paper and overlap them and glue them at sort of like a really long strip. So it's just a little overlap like that. And then I can fold it in half and half, and then I have my size. And so that's a, a way to sort of make it a little bit more, I don't know, a, a, a more reasonable child size. Cause this is kind of tiny. So that's one way you can do it. I also had several people that, um, said they put it together wrong and if you want more email me i'll send you another one i'll just pop it in the mail so if you if you <laughs> if you if you're missing something or like you're like oh i i had students that glued this on the wrong way right <laughs> they they did the, the opposite way i'm like Tom, i'll send you another one in the mail you get a plain envelope this time but you get it wrong it's no big deal <laughs> Funny. So that is no problem <laughs> Um, and then the other idea that I saw was a lot of people experimenting. Um, who wants to tell me somebody in your group that did a really cool, a really cool book? Anybody you want to call out and have them share out? To you? Mark, is your iPad working? Yeah, it is now. Okay, cool. Oh, now I can explain my book. They were all oh, guessing. No, it's working. It okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so I kind of glued the the binding material the wrong way. So I had to use some duct tape. <laughs> and uh, I was telling them I had a, a book on Star Wars. I'm not a Star Wars fan or anything, but I thought my students would use it for a project, but it's stuck at home. So I, I pictures of the princess. I think she's a princess. Ah. Oh, Leia. Oh, and, uh, I just kind of stuck them in there and I put some words Hug on. Me. Hug me, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. real quick, cause it's, nothing special oh, i could do better but time and a centerfold and um sorry my battery's gonna die also great <laughs> so i put images wow. and i stuck this little uh thingy because <laughs> you know why right and that was it that is, cool. uh, that is really that's good. brilliant I hope you guys could see it. I, I can't. Oh, yeah. yeah. You can see that really good. Thank you. Donna, so one of, oh, go ahead. Donna, do you want to share yours? Sure. Yours was really awesome, too. Let, uh, let's, how let's do I get this on. larger? How do I, A speaker view. Emerson, how do I make this larger? Click on speaker view at the top, and then you can, uh, we'll, we'll be able to see yours really big. Okay. Here. I'll get out of it. <laughs> I, I, or, need, or I need, I have an engineer here. <laughs> okay, I just need to be larger here. Okay, I don't know. Can you see? Can Can you guys see this? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Perfect. Oh, okay. so pretty. All right. Mine is a travel book, a travel log. So, oh, there you go. Perfect. Is that better? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So it's um, I used all of the materials that she provided, which gave me a good roadmap. All these things going along. I painted the book first of all with sky and landscape so that I would have a basis for a road. 
and I just cut everything up and made it um, made it the roadway. And uh, she had some music from music musics in there, and I cut it up and put it along the roadway as we went along. We'd be singing, and she put some stars. So we have stars at night, and there's a little racetrack in here. She put a, a cigar. Uh, I don't know whether they smoke cigars or where she got them, but little cigar thing. <laughs> and I put, I made that into, um, let me find it here, a little uh, racetrack. It fit perfectly. Oh, here it is. Perfectly here for a racetrack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I got a racetrack in and um, <laughs> hills and the map. Oh, she sent map. And I cut, I cut the map up so that there's a red line road all the way through. Oh, look at that. So they're all state, uh, state and uh, federal highways because they're <laughs> yeah. all, um, all the red from the map because mm -hmm. the other streets didn't go anywhere. So I made this all with the red streets going all the way across. And I don't know what the map is. I think it's someplace in Illinois. <laughs> you know what? Um, Robin Long, she did a map too in a whole different way. It would be kind of interesting to see hers. Oh, Robin, show us yours. Her variation. Yeah. Thanks, Donna. Yeah, thanks, Donna. That was awesome. That was good. Right again. Take two. <laughs> the shelter okay. in place. Illustrated map. <laughs> and it has no, no spine. It's just accordion. And on the inside, oh. it's, can you see oh, yeah. it? It's, let me turn the light on. Oh, I see. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. On the inside is the title page, and then it flips Love open it. like a oh, map. A real book. <laughs> and it is my shelter in place. Oh, oh, um, yeah. it starts here. So it's a roll of toilet paper and wash your hands. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, one of my places is um, kitchen or dining room. Of course, walk <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Garden and birds and books and my bed is an important part of my shelter in place <laughs> wash your hands again and my couch and hbo and netflix and zoom that's really great and my cat oh, and I have a cat <laughs> and coffee <laughs> all the very important parts of my shelter in place that's awesome that's wonderful <laughs> That's good. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Anybody else want to share theirs to the whole group here? Just a okay. just a small story. All right. I was I was sitting outside on our front yard and this kid rides by on his bicycle and he says, Mr. Skirt, I you were you were you're my art teacher. And I said, Oh <laughs> when did you graduate? He says, nineteen ninety-three. <laughs> so he's a graphic designer now and i said well you have to do a sketchbook i have my friend Lori gatlin in california and blah 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 so i gave him one of the i gave him a sketchbook and he did it and i sent the pictures to Lori. i don't have the sketchbook here but it was kind of neat to see a former student from what's that almost 30 years ago <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yes yeah. i put those those up on the the website too the the pictures yeah. because it was really yeah, nice to get a yeah, little piece yeah that was fun awesome well that's incredible awesome. yeah all right i got some on the chat here oh there we go all right i am gonna do one more little thing here while we're while we're on a on a roll here just now that we're all here together um oh i want to make sure i have everything done here okay close that okay um let me share my screen um, because I thought we'd play a little game. Um, I made a couple of games for us just in case, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And so I have this game for us to play. And it's <laughs> called Eyes on Art. This is actually something that Dustin and I were going to do for the conference. But, well, anyway. Um, so what it is, is I'm going to show you um, some eyes from a painting or an artwork. And then you're going to guess the artist. Right? So you can, right. un and you guys can like yell it out when you recognize the artist. Okay, are we ready? 
Yeah. yeah. Easy one. And go. And go. And go. go. And go. <laughs> but I would give you an easy That's one easy. to start off with. <laughs> All right. Picasso. Picasso. Good. I heard that one. Picasso. All right. They're going to get harder. Just warming you up. Making you feel better about yourself. All right. Ooh. Da Vinci. Oh. Oh. Da Vinci. Or no, Michael. Raphael. Raphael. I hear Donna say it. Anamesia Janowski. Ah, good. Those are all good guesses. I heard Donna say it. This is the double oh, from the Sistine like Chapel. Just those little eyes there. Good. I got to throw a tough one on you. All right. How about this? Modigliani. Uh, Modigliani. Modigliani. Oh, it's kind of creepy at this level, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> all right. Portrait of a woman. All right. Next, we've got this. Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Oh, Somebody knows their art history out there. All right. <laughs> you know, when I was putting the dates on, the, from like 1596, it looks so contemporary to me. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. Matisse. 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 All right. <laughs> you know who this is? You know who, who the subject of this portrait? Madam Matisse. That's right. Madam Matisse. <laughs> also called the green line from the line down the center. <laughs> All right. Here's a tough one. Uh, but it's, um, uh, uh, wood. Grant Wood. Wood. It's like, wood. Oh, yeah, it's wood. Oh, it wood. is. Wood. 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 <laughs> Good job. Wood. That, this is a tough one. I, I practiced this on my students, and this one, they I, they were thinking like Fra Angelico. Uh, it was American. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, wow. I went so it's like that. you recognize it, but you go, you go, where's the rest of the head? You know, <laughs> if I you his eyes, I think you would have got it. So I wanted to make it. Yeah, that was a, that was sneaky, but good. That's me. Mona Lisa. Leonardo. I have to give you one that you guys can feel good about yourself again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, tough one. Manet. Oh, Manet. Manet, yeah. Manet. Mary Cassatt? No, that's yeah. not her style. Um, <laughs> Thank you. The top one. Ooh. I'll give it to you guys. This one is. Oh. 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 I would never have gotten that. Right, that's a top one. <laughs> it's, it's the big watery eyes. I'll back it up. Yeah, big. Well, that's always. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, you'll know. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Warhol. All right, now let's take a look at the next one. Oh, look at those beautiful eyes. Butter jelly. Butter Beautiful. Sweet, so gentle. There you go. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Oh, please. Hello. Frida. Frida. Hello. Frida. <laughs> That's about as distinctive as they get, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about that? Gehende Wiley. Ooh, somebody knows oh, the Curry yeah. Art. Oh, Curry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one stumped my students. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Gehende Wiley. Ooh. Did that portrait of Obama. All right. Yep. Uh, yep. I would never have gone. Yeah, that one's a tough one. It's, it's super real. real All right. How about this? Norman Rockwell. Norman Rockwell. Yes. Somebody got bonked. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got bonked. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Good job. Good job. I recognize. I, I would not have gotten that one myself. All right. How about this? Nefertiti. Nefertiti. Yeah. Ooh. Nefertiti nice. with the one eye. <laughs> All right. Any of you guys teach AP art history out there? <laughs> All right, how about this? Right down. <laughs> August. Probably. I don't know you guys would get this one. This is a tough one. Dig on. Yes. Yes, dig on. One of the ballet dancers. Yeah. That's right, dig on. Well, that's a really odd uh, look, <laughs> you know, <laughs> perspective. It's an odd perspective. Yes, because we yeah. don't really think it's about like her face. Mm -hmm. more about her legs and her pose. How about mm -hmm. this? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Piata. Oh, yeah. uh, there you go. Good job. Good job. Probably the my favorite, my favorite sculpture. All right. Oh, girl with <laughs> yeah. 
I'm like acting it out. <laughs> All right, good job, you guys. I'm so impressed. Oh, you know what? It was really fun. fun. <laughs> this was fun, and there was part of me yeah. that, like, on the hard ones, it, instead of yes. don't give it away, it was like, can you show an ear? Or, <laughs> you show yeah, zoom slowly <laughs> back out into the little bit picture. more. Yes, maybe you should zoom out of it, right? Yes, I tried to like alternate them with tough ones, and I practiced with my students, and that Grant Wood was the one that really stumped them. I was giving a multiple choice, and I realized that was that was too misleading. That was great. <laughs> yeah. So it's been really tough. I, I don't know how you guys have been doing with your Zoom groups, but uh, I, I've been challenged to keep them lively. And so I, I've made a few little games. Here. There's another one I have, but we won't look at that one. I put those also on the um, on the website there. So you can take that Google slide one if you want, use it, whatever. I also made that one a Kahoot because we did. I did it as a Kahoot. Kahoot with my students. Um, just to make it a little bit Did they fun. like it? They had fun with it? They did. They actually enjoyed that one. Um, they're art students, so they're pretty good at it. Yeah. Right? They're all graduates. <laughs> or, you know, they should know this stuff by now. Probably harder with high school kids. All right. That's great. The, the other game that I have, let me show you this one. This one, I'm not going to go through it. This one was more for, for the elementary kind of, not elementary, but um, kids that would, this would be another PowerPoint here. And so what we did on this one was they, they had a, a chance to like ask a question we were just chatting. And if they answered the question right, then they would get the, um, let me, ah, sorry, my, there we go. The boxes would go away. Oh, ooh. And Japanese. so every time we had a question and then somebody would finally recognize what the work was, you guys might do mm -hmm. it better than them. Yeah. How did you set that up? Wave. This one is one you can download. And so I shared this one with you also. If you want to okay. like change the picture behind there. And can you use other pictures behind it or, or you yeah. just got this already set up? It's already sent up, but all you would have to do, I'll show you how it works. Um, I'm going to tuck it right through here. So this is a part of it. And then, oops, sorry about that. Let me hit the next slide. That's the full on picture. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing here. Let's see if you guys can figure out who this Ooh. is. David. Oh, that's good. See, you guys are artists. You recognize by the, the curve of oh, the David. Back, didn't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would be David. And let's take a look at this one. Stephen Corn. I heard somebody mention this artist earlier today. Oh, oh Mary Cassatt. Yes. Right, that's yeah. right. That would be Mary Cassatt. All right. And then the last one here is Warhol. Andy Warhol. <laughs> Elvis. Elvis. Okay, there you go. This is one of my favorite paintings. Too. Double Elvis. Yes, there we go. There you go. So that one, um, let me show you on here. This one is, um, you can put it, let me go back to, I'll look at the regular presentation way. So on here, the picture behind here, you can change the picture. Okay, so you would just replace this picture with another one. Okay, nice. So that one's on there too. So I can share both of those wow. things with you just so you can create something fun for your own. Life. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. That's fun. Yeah. I have a really hard Jeopardy game too, but it's really hard. <laughs> I love Jeopardy. Let's play. <laughs> you wanna, yes. Um, you yes. Look at it. All right. I'm telling you, it's a hard one. <clears throat> it's up here. Jeopardy's hard. <laughs> yes. And the only thing about the Jeopardy game. Okay. Let me let me pull it up real quick. Let me pull up Jeopardy. All right. So I gotta. So this is an art version. What fun. All right, so here's the categories. Paintings. Name that Venus. <laughs> Name that Venus. This Name category that. is art, quasi pairs. Name that Madonna and artist trivia. All right, anything we wanna start with? Name uh, that Venus. Let's do a Name that Venus. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Ooh, so we're we're in dark. Dark. 
<laughs> war door. <laughs> Very good, from the Paleolithic era. All right, let's do another thing that Venus. We'll go through this category. <laughs> there you go. Good job. All right, another <laughs> Venus. Venus <laughs> Milo. Good job. All right. Ooh, tough one. Get harder. Tisha? Mm hmm Tisha? <clears throat> that would be the Venus of Rubino by Titian. And now? Oh, man. Party at the beach. Um. <laughs> In high school, this was actually my favorite painting, and I stole my teacher's art book because I loved it so much. <laughs> <laughs> I have to return it back to him because he and I are Facebook friends. Now he'll That's know. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> then let's go to Madonna uh, down here. Name that Madonna. These are hard too. This one you might be able to get. Leapy. Look at that face. Oh. 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 There you Jeez. go. All right, let's look at another Madonna. Look at those eyes. Monticelli. There you go. We find oh. all the, 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 the markers of the artist, right? Mm -hmm. Raphael? Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. He's kind of the most famous for doing Madonna. the eyes. Yep. Raphael, Sistine Madonna. Yep, it's the Sistine Madonna. Michelangelo, and then another Madonna here. Jada. Ooh, good oh, job. Good, good job. One. Good one. You need to put on your team there. Hot <laughs> <laughs> stuff. All right. What next? <clears throat> Let's paint this town. All right. Let's see what <clears throat> it is. Night, 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 hawks. Hawks. night hawks. But the, the corner yeah, of the night hawks. All right. Let's do another paint this town. The um, the Last Supper. Last Supper. <laughs> yep, there's the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another painting. The scream. Scream. Mm -hmm. yep. I should put all the versions on. Yeah. That way we can see how they look. American Gothic. <laughs> His sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already did that one. It's his sister. <laughs> yep, there they are. There's the original model. Oh there. <laughs> he looks like a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like my dentist. Campbell soup. Campbell soup. There you go. Campbell soup. The whole side of them right there. Just my son did there, that for us. Yeah. Let's do some artist trivia. This is kind of similar to that mm -hmm. one. Oh, you guys know this one. Rodin. Rodin, yes. There you go. All right, we'll do 200. Durr. Durr, yeah. And here it was. Not bad for not ever having seen one. All right. So why are flappers better than models? You didn't have to pay them? <laughs> they didn't talk. <laughs> talk, yeah, they yeah, didn't talk, talk back. back. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, are didn't move. move. <laughs> <laughs> they were still, still. All right, 400. How about who is famous for Helga? Wyeth. Andrew Wyeth. One of my favorites, too. All oh, right, Andrew Wyeth. And then the artist trivia here. Which artist has had more of his paintings stolen than any other artist with over 550 on the art loss register? Jeez. Rembrandt? I say Van Gogh. Well, I was going to say Van Gogh, too. He's a track. He, he didn't paint 550 pictures. Picasso? <laughs> Michelangelo? <laughs> Think of somebody Picasso? Lots and lots of art. Yes, Picasso. Very oops, prolific artist. All right, now this is the last column and this one's hard. So quasi pairs means that there's, well, let's take a look at it. Bedtime parting wishes and a painting by Edward Hopper. Good night. Good night. 
Sweetheart. Oh, was the parish church was night. Night, night gas station. Yeah. So good night. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Now I get it. Okay. So here we go. Dripping clocks and mattress topper material. Persistence of memory. Oh, 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 persistence, persistence of memory time. foam. <laughs> yes. Very good. Persistence <laughs> of memory foam. Oh, that's good. <laughs> this is my category. I like this one. All right. That's yours. Okay. Arrangement in black and gray and a day to support your maternal. Whistler's Mother's Day. All right. Nice. Mr. Mother's Day. <laughs> right. And now, Ozzy Paris here. Beatles song about a long, long, lonely winter and a Van Gogh vase of thieves. Something yeah. sunflowers. Sunflower. Here comes the sunflowers. There you go. Here, Here comes the sunflowers. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now the last one. Famous painting by Van Gogh and an alcoholic drink before bed. <laughs> Night. Night. A starry nightcap. A starry nightcap. Don't take your knife to bed. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. That is yours. That is your category. So I'll put that one on that page too on the website so that you guys have that one too. That's great. In case you want to change anything, you can change the words and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I think we have to have these little games, right? Keep You're separate. like a Santa's elf tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Really kind. So. Yeah. So nice Thank you, see. Lori. This has been really great. Well, yeah, I'm really nice. Thank you. Glad. I wanted it to be a little bit of fun. We need a break. We need art. Yeah. It was. It was very nice. A, group a lot of fun. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So much. I did record this, and so I'll I'll send that up. We can put it up um, on the the virtual web page. So if anybody missed it, or you want to look at something else we did, and then the the, the links that I had on there also. I'll if you need those, um, I'll resend them all to everybody that was here because I'll have a name list and um, anybody that I missed on those. So you can download that stuff and feel free to email me if you need like something else to fix like you know your book just didn't work and you need another little book kit i'll send it. i won't send you a fancy version i'll send you the one in a regular envelope but i'll send you another one i got lots of them <laughs> all right you guys this has been thank you thank, thank you, very you so much thank you thank you, thank you. Bye. 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 see everybody Bye. nice to chat Bye. with you <laughs> Lori, thank you for your kindness and generosity. Oh, that's it, it's been fun for me. I told my husband, I want to quit teaching. I just want to do this now, okay? <laughs> I'm going to do all that, yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, it's not going to happen. You need to make that money, girl. <laughs> I said, okay, well. It's a lifetime. <laughs> Yeah. So we can start a subscription box service. We can send little kids out every week. And he's like, calm down. Do your job. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. That's wonderful. All right. Thanks a lot, oh, you guys. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you, Laurie. Bye -bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Nice to see you guys. <laughs>